Only on Fox 5 tonight, a 94-year-old woman badly beaten in a violent home invasion. Police say the man who attacked her was a familiar face in her metro Atlanta community. He did yard work in the neighborhood. Well, tonight, Reginald Pass is in the DeKalb County Jail. And as Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz reports, this attack has left neighbors frightened and angry. I actually spoke to the elderly woman's son, and he tells me his 94-year-old mother is not in good shape. Neighbors tell me around here they're outraged that the person who is known as the guy who cuts grass would be accused by police of attacking this woman. I'm in my wildest dream, I would think someone would hurt her or do anything to her. Mr. William Day says he's lived in the East Lake community for decades, and his 94-year-old neighbor has lived here longer. Neighbors tell me she's blind and lives alone. Police say Reginald Pass, known as a gardener for many neighbors and who did yard work for the elderly woman, forced his way into her home and badly beat her. She was just like a mother to me. I never would even imagine he would do anything like that. Mr. Davis says he's also one of the many neighbors who hired Pass to do work too as he went from door to door. In the police report, investigators say they found the woman in her home off Daniel Avenue and Hosea Williams Drive, badly bleeding with a black eye. She says she recognized Pass by his voice as he forced his way inside. When she tried to run, she says he kept punching her face and told her, I'll kill you. The woman was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital, and Atlanta police arrested Pass a short time later. Her family says she's still recovering from the terrible injuries. He's always out around kids when they're outside by themselves. He's done yard work for numerous people in the neighborhood. Plenty of neighbors, like Ashley Briscoe, immediately recognize the face of the man they call Reggie and say it's scary. They now want to second guess who they hire for help. Any, he could have done anything to anybody at any time if he could do something to someone so vulnerable. Coming up on News Edge 11, what neighbors say they're going to do to protect themselves in light of this attack. But for now, reporting in Northeast Atlanta, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News.